Today's catch up and Q&A is brought to you by Squarespace. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a nice Christmas holidays, a nice festive period. I'm here in beautiful, sunny Bangkok, relaxing, editing the big South American series and Antarctica videos, which will be coming out in January, fingers crossed. Quite a lot of footage. I think I've got like two and a half terabytes <laughs> because it was just, so photogenic i just wanted to take a picture of everything and look it's been a while since we sat down and had a little bit of a chat and a catch up i've been relentlessly traveling and uploading adventure after adventure trip after trip it's been a whirlwind year and i think it's about time we just find a quiet spot have a coffee and have a chat I've got loads of questions from you guys that you submitted over on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just at Paddy Doyle official. And normally when I'm on the road, I upload lots of stories about where I am and what I'm doing. And I posted for you guys to ask me some juicy questions or just general personal questions, questions about the channel. And I just thought, yeah, since it's December and I'm kind of on holiday mode, an editing mode after a big trip. I thought it'd be quite simple and easy just to sort of, yeah, catch up. Right, let's begin with a little bit of a quick fire round. Let's do 10 questions instantly, straight away. If you look at this year on the channel, We've been to Cambodia, the Philippines, Singapore, South Korea, Bali, Indonesia, Switzerland, Italy, Borneo, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Chile, Argentina, and Antarctica. And those last three are obviously, those adventures have happened and are currently in the editing studio and will be coming out next year. But yeah, 12 countries or 12 regions in 12 months with a trip to the UK, a couple of trips to the UK, and obviously coming back to Thailand in between most of these trips. It's been a long slog and it's been incredible. I don't regret a single moment, um, but it's been tough. So let's go through the year um, in a quick fire session. What's been the best country of 2023? It's hard to look past Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, there's something magical about that place. What has been my best experience of 2023? I think for me personally, it was hiking across the Swiss Alps and just going to Switzerland in general. That was always been a bucket list country for me. And uh, it was a dream come true to be able to go there. What was the best moment of 2023? Going on the camp cowboy tuk-tuk ride in Siem Reap, Cambodia. I just went out with the GoPro and I was filming like a basic first impressions video. I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna turn into something. Met cowboy, went in the tuk-tuk, drank beers, sang our hearts out, had a great time. And it was probably, yeah, my best moment of the year and my favorite video of this year as well. What's been your worst moment? I, I had a bit of a meltdown in Borneo and I didn't really vlog it. I did, but then I cut it all out because I didn't want to be a miserable bastard. But in Borneo, I kind of had a burnout and I kind of realized that I wasn't enjoying myself as much as I should be doing. I went live on Instagram for a sunset beer and I just had a good old whinge. <laughs> What's been the most underrated destination? Definitely the Dolomites in Northern Italy. After going to Switzerland and seeing how busy it was and then going over to the Dolomites in Italy, honestly, so underrated, so beautiful, so incredible. And long may that continue because I want to keep going back there and basically having it to myself. What's been the most overrated place? Well, I just got back from Patagonia and as you'll see in the videos, I did have a good time. There are some incredible landscapes there, but overall it is, uh, it's massively overrated and you'll see why in those future videos. What's been the best meal of 2023? That is a difficult question. <laughs> but looking at this list, I think everything I ate in the Gwangjang market with Miss P in South Korea, 
was just just incredible whether it was the kimchi dumplings the soup dumplings the bimmy bap i mean just everything in that market is just absolutely delicious what's been the worst meal <laughs> the worst thing i've eaten probably everything i ate in the philippines <laughs> And the final one is, what's your favorite video this year? As I mentioned before, it is the video I made with Cowboy. I just think that's just, it's such a simple video. Just go out and film and see what happens. I should do more of those types of videos because my videos and my series are quite structured. I have a big next level adventure planned and I sort of try to stick to the brand of that kind of style of videos. Um, but that one was just throw away, let's see what happens. And it just turned out to be my favorite video of the year. So maybe that's food for thought going into 2020. Four, I don't know. Let's see how the year pans out. I think it's important to mention as well, since we're doing this Q&A together, I need to say a couple of thank yous for this year. You know, I've worked hard, I've traveled a long places, but you guys, the viewers, you have sat down and you have watched and you have supported every trip I've gone to this year and you've left feedback which is very important sometimes you have a go at me that's fine you give me constructive feedback you let me know when I made a great video you let me know when you are not so impressed and that's fine because we'll get there in the end wherever wherever we're going we'll get there together and I can't do any of this without you guys so thank you and I also want to say a big thank you to the channel sponsor of this year 2023 one of the reasons why I was able to go to 12 countries and consistently make and edit videos and have unbelievable adventures is because of the support of Squarespace. Squarespace supported this channel for the entire year, 12 months we've been working together. This is the last month of our relationship and maybe we'll work together again next year. I'm not sure. We're in, we're in talks at the minute. But they are an incredible online website building platform. The best on the internet in my opinion i host my website paddydoyle.info there i'll link it below you can go check it out honestly if you need a website or you have a friend that needs a website point them in the direction of squarespace you choose a professional portfolio you add your text you add your videos you add your pictures you can create an online store you can link your social media you can start selling products and services today it doesn't take a genius to put together. If you do struggle, they have a really good online help center where you can get your questions answered and anything you might need, a little bit of technical help, for example, they'll help you set up your website. And then when you're ready to go live, because building the website is completely for free, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paddy Doyle and you'll get 10% off your first domain. Okay, let's walk around the park and answer some more of these questions. Um, I've got loads, so I'll try to keep the answers as short as possible and not jibber jabber for too long. How do you feel? You look like your soul is refreshed. Um, thank you, but uh, no, I do not feel refreshed. I have worked really hard this year, traveled really far, and hopefully create some good content um, in, the, in, the, in the process. And I'm gonna go into this in way more depth in the next video where we kind of like analyze the channel and me and my personal journey. Um, because it's been a long time. I've kind of just ignored that section um, and the personal side, uh, the behind the scenes side of the channel for a long time. Just really wanted to concentrate on making good content this year. And you know, not every video has been a banger, but that's fine, that's life. I've had some incredible series and I've had some mediocre videos come out. Um, and that's to be expected. I really kind of treat this channel we try our best and not every time it turns out to be a success. Just like a football team, sometimes you set yourself up for success, things don't go your way and you get beat 3-0. Next question is, how is Miss P, the lovely Miss P, my girlfriend? She's good. She's just about finished um, at her current job and she's got a promotion um, in a different company, in a different role, better salary and more responsibility and she's leveling up um, her career and she's really excited about her new job still going to be in Bangkok um, so because she's based here and I try to be where she is people this is another question that comes up where is home where do you live well home is where the heart is right and right now my heart is here with Miss P she's based in Bangkok you can see the, the beautiful IKEA that just opened up near my house um, so yeah we have an apartment here 
and she lives there full time. I've been away seven months this year in total and I've tried to come back as much as I can. Um, and I'm trying to figure out a way for next year to you know, find out like, how, can I, how can I keep doing content, how can I keep having adventures, how can I keep this channel the core of my business and the core of my life, but also have a bit more stability with relationships. At the beginning of this channel, I just had a motorbike and a dream. I left my job, I left my house, I left all my responsibilities and I put all my eggs into the basket. Now the basket has hatched into a bouquet of flowers. I've got um, a channel, I've got a business, I've got a following, I've got a girlfriend, I've got a flat, I've got responsibilities. I have a different landscape in front of me now, so I need to change and adapt, but I also absolutely love what I do. So I think over this new year, Christmas period and you know whilst the South American Antarctica videos are uploading the channel will probably hopefully thrive a little bit whilst I can sit reflect and plan for how to make the channel more sustainable long term because spending seven months away from your loved ones spending seven months on the road as incredible as has that can be it's also emotionally physically and mentally draining it sometimes so hmm, any advice let me know in the comments this is a question that came up a lot about the budgeteers when are you going to get back together when's the next series when are you filming with ties this is a brief overview of the situation of the budgeteers um, me and ties still talk we're really good friends we almost met up together and almost filmed together in the Dolomites but last minute pretty much he just couldn't make it you know he has a kids he has a life he has a career he has a family he has a house a mortgage and I in comparison just travel around um, willy-nilly and I have a lot more independence so it's really hard to line things up it was a lot easier when we were all younger and we had nothing really going for us <laughs> other than this dream of starting a YouTube channel together and a creative project um, Lena doesn't talk to us anymore we don't know what happened I haven't had a message from her for so long I've sent her messages um, but she doesn't reply um, Ties has reached out she doesn't reply so we don't know what's happened um, we hope she's okay we love her we can't wait for, for an update from her but I don't know what she's up to I hope she's okay Lena if you're watching this I love you please send me a message let me know you're okay because in the future it would be great if we could all go and just have a silly adventure again how do you maintain your core friendships do you have any really good mates to travel with as I've gotten older I'm 37 now. I have less and less friends. I have lots of acquaintances. I have lots of people reach out. I seemingly am always meeting someone down the pub or seemingly always going somewhere to meet someone, which is good. But to be honest, it's not like I get on the phone and call my friends and like spill my emotions or my problems to them. I don't, I don't really share my problems other than with my girlfriend, Miss P. <laughs> she's like me, she, she's got a few friends and that's it. What filming and editing equipment do you use? So right now, I'll film it for you. This is what I film with. This is a Sony ZV-E10 camera and I use these Ulanzi M-44 tripods. I go through about four or five of these a year. These are great because not only are they, you know, a great little tripod that can hold your camera and your phone, but they're really good for vlogging with. It comes, well, this is like an additional Sony microphone um, that's powered through the batteries. I have two or three batteries that lasts me just fine. And I have this wide angle lens, which I'll link in the description. I don't actually remember which one it is. Um, it's the perfect camera for what I do. But here's the thing, I've been using my phone so much. When I was in Switzerland, there was this one shot that I lined up on this Sony of me walking down the stairs with the bushes on each side, revealing Lauterbrunnen Valley below. And when I looked at that footage and then I got my phone out, this is an iPhone 14 Pro Max, it looked so much better on my phone. It looked so much better on my phone. And during the Switzerland hiking series and then during the Dolomite series, I just found myself reaching for my phone way more than reaching for this big expensive camera and I edit on Premiere Pro and I have a whole course on how I film and how I edit 
and how I upload videos to YouTube that I sell in my descriptions of every video. Check it out if you're interested. Okay, I think that is enough of the Q&A. I did actually have so many more questions, so many more questions, and I was gonna answer them really concisely and give you short, punctual, interesting answers, but I've just realized that that's impossible. I cannot just give you a short answer. I tend to go off on tangents, and hopefully in doing so, gave you a little bit more insight into where I am mentally, where I am with the channel, where I am with, in my life i'm gonna go into way more detail when we're gonna look back at the whole year and start planning together 2025 uh, in the next video and i'm gonna sit down at home at my desk and watch the video where i started making dreams and plans for this year at the beginning of 2023 and we'll see if we achieved them we'll see what we missed what we failed on what we overachieved on and use everything we've learned and, and make a plan for 2025 together 2024 together what year is it it's 2024 next year okay i love you thank you for watching um if you do have any questions um that weren't answered let me know in the description in the comments below just type question and then your question and i'll try to answer as many as i can thank you i love you and i'll see you in a proper big sit down chatty video in a couple of days um, but right now i need to go do a little bit of christmas shopping because i don't have a present for miss p and i need to start another day of editing on the south american series those videos are coming together really nicely but they need a lot of work so see you soon mm -hmm.